Hey, my name is Petra and I'm from Hungary. Do you plan to visit Hungary or are you just interested in the culture and the country itself? Well, you're in a good place because I'm about to talk about things you should know about Hungary, especially before visiting. So let's jump right into it. The first thing that you should know about our country, Hungary, is that the currency is different from the other European countries because we don't use Euro, we use the Hungarian forint. There will be some places though that will accept Euro, but that's really a rarity, so don't count on this. The highest banknote is the 20,000 forint one, and the smallest is the 500, and we also use coins from 5 forints to 200. The current exchange rate is something about one dollar to 350 forints or one euro to 390 forints but please mind that it can change from day to day so inform yourself before visiting or before exchanging some money good thing to know is that you can pay with your card almost everywhere because it's regulated by law the only exception is some small shops or stands and when the shops POS is out of order for a short period of time so even though you can pay with card it's still useful to have some coins and some smaller banknotes with you so it can help in these situations but otherwise you can survive it without them Many people say that the Hungarian language is one of the hardest language to learn, but that doesn't mean that you can't really acquire some basic phrases and words to impress us Hungarians. You should know that we very much appreciate someone who will try to say at least a few words in our language, because we rarely hear anyone else except Hungarians talk in Hungarian. So for greeting, we say the word Sia. It's more informal and we say it to someone who is younger or who is kind of the same age as we are. And if there's a bigger group, we say Sziasztok. And good news is that we use the same phrases, these two words, for saying goodbye. So we say Sia and Sziasztok. Simple, right? If you greet someone in a more formal way, like a stranger or when you enter a shop and it's in the morning, you say Jó reggelt. During the day we say Jó napot. In the evening we say Jó estét. And if you would like to thank someone for their kindness or for the help or anything like that, then you say Köszönöm. And I think that's enough for this video, but if you're interested in some basic words or phrases in Hungarian, let me know in the comment section down below and please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out the opportunity to learn some more Hungarian. Because if you're interested, I can put some little words here and there throughout my next videos. I just don't know if you're interested in these kind of things, so let me know. Most Hungarians speak English, at least in a basic level, so if you need any help, you don't have to worry about as you won't find help because the majority of Hungary speaks English. Pretty normal. The second most known language in Hungary is German, so you can try that as well, but that's really a rarity because although every second person learned German in elementary school or high school, we are not that good in it. We prefer English, so please start with that if you can. Thank you. When meeting someone, Hungarian men shake hands while women and family members kiss each other on the cheeks once on both sides. We don't really hug each other, we're not that type of nation, but it can really depend on personality. If you're lucky and you get the chance to visit a Hungarian household, then good thing to know that very probably when you enter the house, they will ask you to put your shoes down and go barefoot or in socks instead that's pretty normal to us or maybe they will offer some slippers to run around in the house if you accept an invitation you should not go with empty hands at least grab a box of chocolate or a little something 
doesn't really matter it's just a way to say thanks for the invitation and it's just really a simple gesture to the host i read it somewhere that you should not bring wine to a hungarian household as a thank you gift because we're too proud of our own wines but let me tell you something i've never seen a household that complained about receiving a bottle of wine so there is nothing wrong with that for a man the main gift i think is a bottle of wine so it's pretty normal to us so if you would like to try out a type of wine at a party or something then bring one bottle and try it out with your friends that's a perfect occasion i think so don't worry there's no such thing as a bad gift or something that's just a ridiculous thing but maybe i'm wrong i always see wines as gift like that's really popular in hungary i think also one thing is that we open up the gifts in front of you so you will see our genuine reaction and we can say how thankful we are for it. The Hungarian cuisine is famously meat-based, which can be bad news for vegetarians and vegans, but I think we're improving year by year. But unfortunately, it's only true for Budapest and for the bigger cities. So if you visit a smaller town or a village, they won't probably give you a lot of options to eat except a salad or something like that. Maybe some places will say that yes, we have vegetarian and vegan options because we have breaded fried cheese, which doesn't sound good, I know, but I really hope that with every year we are going to be more open to these things and later on you will have options even in the smaller cities. What are your experiences about the food in Hungary? Let me know in the comment section down below. Moving on from food, something about the beverages. The Hungarian tap water is very safe to drink, so if you want to save some money then just fill your bottle with some tap water and you can also fill up your water bottle along the way because there are are many public drinking fountains even in the smaller cities and villages the taste of the water can be strange to some people even i'm not really a huge fan of it but there's one option that you can go for is that you put some fruit syrup in it which called in hungarian syrup it's not that type of syrup that you know it's more liquidy and it has less fruit content but it's still really delicious and there are many sugar-free versions so it's just a way to improve the quality of your drink and I drink tap water like this for years and I think it's a great way to save some money as in the majority of Europe, Hungary regulated smoking very strictly as well. So you have to avoid smoking in public indoor areas completely. Some places you can't even smoke outside, like at tables. You can't smoke on public transport, not even at the stops. So you should look out for the signs, maybe I will put one here, that will allow or prohibit you to smoke. I hope that these tips helped you a little to prepare yourself for the next trip to Hungary and if you like my content and you would like to see Hungary with me and travel around with me then make sure to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one bye